What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time D-Rex took down the Blackthorn City Gym single-handedly. No, he had a lot of help, but we did take down the Blackthorn City Gym and we beat Claire. However, she did not feel we were worthy enough for the Rising Badge. At least I think that's what it is. And she's put us... She's, uh, she's given us a challenge. She wants us to go to the Dragon's Den behind the gym, and I guess somehow that'll make us worthy or something. So definitely, definitely want to get everyone healed up because the only one that was still living was D-Rex. So let's head on back in there. Well, not back in there, but you know what I mean. I should probably get some repels. Let's do that real quick, because there are wild Pokemon in there. Very good wild Pokemon, though. You can get Dratinis in there. Oh, yeah, Mom. What does she give us this time? Yache Berries. Or Yache Berries. I don't know how you pronounce it. And what else? Anything else? Chapel Berries. Or Chaple. And no more feather packages. Great. So, let's pick up some of these. Where are they? Nope. There we go, some super repels. We need to restock, so let's get about 20. Yeah, 20 will do. That's a lot of money we just spent on repels. No thank you. All right, but yeah, you can get Dratinis up in there. However, I'm not gonna be trying to catch a wild Dratini. And you'll see why once we get into the Dragon's Den. Dragon Den, very cool area. Uh, let's put up a repel now. Oh, it's in the first pocket. Stupid, stupid me. Where is it? Super repel. Oh yeah, there's the sharp beak that I got uh, before last episode started. And we have a max repel in here. Whoops. Oh well. And we'll put Anna to the front here. Mainly because there's going to be dragon type Pokemon trainers in there as well. I know. She wants us to battle more people. Ah, she's high maintenance, that Claire. Also, I love how like everyone in the anime... And the manga makes fun of her clothes. I think they're cool. If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Thanks. We're heading on in. I love the music here. Not not the best of all of them, but really good. And let's go ahead and just start taking these guys out. Most of them will have Dragon-type Pokemon or Horsey and Cedra. I believe this guy has a Dragonair. Stupid Dragonair. Feel the wrath of my Ice Beam! Oh wow, holy crap. It's faster than I am, and it knows Thunder. Once again, Dragonair, or the Dragonite line is a very good line. They can learn a lot of different moves. So, let's see. It's just strong! Yeah, we are. Let's move Stafe to the front now, since I believe the rest of them either have or start out with water type Pokemon. Uh, there's a lot of items you can pick up in here as well. For example, a Calcium, which uh, it raises something. I want to say like attack or defense or I don't know. You know, Calcium, build strong bones. Um, hidden item over here. Yep, a revive. And now we have to jump into the water and basically just float around. You know, I kind of want to see this rendered in the other engine. So once we get in the water, Bad idea. There we go. Alright. <laughs> it froze there momentarily. I guess it forgot what I had mapped to that button. Oh, it looks so good in here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. Do I need Whirlpool? Please don't tell me I need Whirlpool to get through here. I think I need Whirlpool. Let's put up a repel. <laughs> if, I have to, if I have to go get Whirlpool, I'll go get, I'll go get uh, Poliwag out and I'll teach it Whirlpool. But let's take down these people. Shouldn't be in here. She had a very interesting sounding thing. Horsey. Okay. I've switched back to the other rendering engine just because that was interesting when it froze there for a second. Not as bad as when it as when my game actually did freeze. There's that quick claw coming into play. So I think Stafe might actually be faster than the rest of these Pokemon. And as you as you've seen, as you've seen. The 
fully evolved form of Horsey is a beast very much worth having on your team. But not for me. I already have a... Wow, look at that. I already have a Water-type Pokemon. And it's also part Ice, whereas, you know, I'd have to trade again, and I'm not, I'm not looking to trade again. Especially when it has to hold an item to get Kingdra. And last but not least, Seedra. Let's take it out with our strongest attack. Thunder! And it'll miss. Oh, it's going first, though. Oh, How come it can... Well, I guess technically you don't need the HM Waterfall. You can get a Horsey and it will eventually learn Waterfall by level up. But to use it outside of battle, you need the Rising Badge, which we have yet to get. Thanks, Claire. Bitch. That Seedra got owned. Like, ridiculously owned. I guess Waterfall's a physical attack since it got paralyzed. Stoffe is now our strongest Pokemon. Odd. Oh, yikes, I lost. Yeah, you did. How about you give me your number, though? I can find you some comfort. I, I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Alright, let's move Anna up to the front here. Because I think this is a double battle. And I want my two strongest out there. I need to do some leveling up off screen. I love how they both notice you. It's a stranger, someone we don't know. Who are you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get Whirlpool. Son of a bitch. Uh, that's gonna take a while. Uh, okay, so Dratini and Dratini. is not gonna be doing much here. Though Anna is going to be doing a lot. Uh, I guess I could Cotton Spore, and Anna can Ice Beam the other one. Because if I use Thunder, it's not going to do much damage, and it might miss anyway, and Charge isn't going to do nearly enough damage to take it down, just because Dragon resists Electric. But... Wow, 36 and 36 are two strongest Pokemon. And we slowed the Dratini down, but I think we managed to go first anyway. So there's no big deal about that. Headbutt. We ain't a tree, motherfucker. Uh, Cotton Spore, I guess. Dratini. And Ice Beam. Oh. <laughs> that Quick Claw does come in handy. I think I found a permanent item for Stafe, too. No, I kind of want to give him the Magnet once I... Once it gets around to Sunday again. And I got time. Let's actually... I, I'll, I might leave it on screen. Going to get Poliwag. Ouchies, meanie. Because I have an idea. Mother, shut up, Mom! Can't believe you need Whirlpool to get through here. That's annoying. Alright, uh... I will meet you guys in Goldenrod. Because I have something pretty funny I want to do. It's, uh... From a... Subscriber request. So, see you guys in just a second. I'm leaving this in just in case, you know, I decide to leave in going back to Goldenrod. I'm not going to be saying too much that's vital to the Let's Play, except for the fact that I'm going to be getting Poliwag out. Who should I put in place of Poliwag, though? I don't want to put in... I guess I could put in... Move. I guess I could put in... Ramsey, he's not doing much. Get Poliwag out. Exit. And here's what I want to do. I want to rename this Poliwag. And once again, like I said, this was a subscriber who told me uh, this nickname. I'm going to switch back to the render engine. Good job. The s oh wait, that was in the faster render engine. It's hard to tell in this one. Uh, You. Name Poliwag. I want it to be. Yes. Okay, here we go. Sorry for all the cuts and pauses. It's gonna be called Poly. Swag. I kinda wanna capitalize the swag. Okay, so, 
there's that. Done, how- Done, how about that? From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Polly Swag! It's a better nickname before, isn't it? If you're- oh. Hold on. I was gonna say, if you're just now joining me, but I think I wanna do that over back in Blackthorn. Oh, I need to teach it Whirlpool, don't I? Whoopsie. If you're just now joining me, I've renamed Poliwag to Poly Swag, and we're about ready to teach it Whirlpool so we can get on through the cave. Still mad that it requires Whirlpool to get through. And yeah, Poliwag's gonna be our, or Poly Swag's gonna be our sort of water HM slave because he can learn all the water HM moves. And we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of Water Gun, because Double Slap makes me laugh, because he has no arms. I guess he could slap with his tail. And Poly Swag learned Whirlpool. Okay, so let's head back in there. I'll leave all this in. I think I might leave in all that too, which is not the best commentary, but hey. What can I do? Repel's effect wore off. I forgot we had a repel on. So let's put another one back on. Cha cha, use. And I guess. I wonder, I wonder who's going to surf. I guess it's whoever's first in the party, because Anna just used surf. You don't need to be surfing on the Pokemon that uses Whirlpool. It can be anyone. For example, you could have, technically, if you needed all three wa uh, surf, Whirlpool, and waterfall, they could be on three different Pokemon. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Because it's sufficient enough to have it on one Pokemon to just take all the HMs. HM slaves are the best. A huge swirl of water. Would you like to use Whirlpool? Yes. Poly Swag used Whirlpool. And you just traverse. Nothing really too big about that. And here we have... Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Perfect. Hmm. Good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? I don't know why it sounds evil. That girl is a handful, I am sorry. But I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Alright, there are... wrong answers here. For example, Junior would be the wrong answer. The... correct answers are allies or friends. What helps you win battles? Strategy, training, cheating. Either one of the first two is right, cheating is not. <coughs> and I'm going with strategy since, you know, well, <laughs> it, we need strategy. <sighs> Sorry, gotta take a drink of water. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Ah, uh, anyone. Weak, strong, doesn't matter. We weak, strong is the wrong answer though, by the way. Oh, I understand. What is the most important for raising Pokemon? Love, violence, or knowledge? I'm gonna go with love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, which is more important? And the correct answer here is both. If you take the path I did, you will come out on top because he says, Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Tyke, don't lose that belief. I will send you through at the Pokemon League. And we've proven ourselves to Claire now. So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail? What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying! Even I haven't been approved. Really? Because you're worthless! Claire, this child's impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I... I understand. Here's the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. Finally, I can update that part of the layout. I have to update it more than once because I didn't expect that to have Poly Swag in here. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon know you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. So all traded Pokemon, level 100, they all will obey you now. Reflect upon what, what it is that you lack in this child has. Yeah, run off, Claire. We're awesome. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? Er, between Olivine and Cyanwood are w islands called Whirl Islands. 
There is a huge waterfall deep in the cave there. It is said that Lugia rests in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You need a silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. What do these guys say? I've never talked to these guys. It's been quite some time since the trainer has gained our master's rare approval. In fact, not since Master Lance. Don't we get a Pokemon here? You know young Master Lance? He looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's in their blood. Aww. I thought we got the... Do we have to take the test a second time or something? Where's my Pokemon? I'm going back in. Give me a Pokemon. Damn, come on. Well, if you answered all of those questions right, you get a Dratini with extreme speed, and if you answer one wrong, like say you said cheating instead of whatever, you'll get you'll still get the Dratini, but it'll have Leer instead of Extreme Speed. And Extreme Speed is a priority move that Well Nice, Dragon Fang, it'll power up Dragon type moves. And let's head out of here. But, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Extreme Speed is a priority move. Very good attack. And Dragonite, or Dratini and Dragonite can't really learn that move by normal means. This is the only way to get an Extreme Speed Dratini. Though, for some reason, I'm not getting it. Do I have to have an open slot in my party or something? Arr, did not want to get off here. There's probably a hidden item over here or something. Did we get Dragon Pulse from her, or do we have to go talk to her again? think she might... Mm. If I land on the water one more time, I guess I'm gonna be upset because I keep having to surf. Alright. Let's... I guess I... Mm, I don't know if I have a escape rope. You could use an escape rope and get out of here very easily, but I don't know if I have one. So we're just gonna have to take the long way out. Really wanted that Dratini. Because I had a name picked out for it and everything. Oh, there's Claire. What do you want? Wait! I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. And we get Dragon Pulse, I believe? That contains Dragon Pulse. Well, Dragon Pulse is kind of... er, never mind. It's a huge energy of some kind. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? If you're headed to the Pokemon League, go back to Newbart Town and surf along Route 27. Your face is telling me you have some unfinished business. Come on, whatever you have to face from now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your all. Mm, hate to see her leave, but I love to watch her go. Mm -mm. Sorry. I mean, the cape would be covering what I would be watching anyway, so... Anywho... Professor Elm's calling us. What's he want? Oh. Hello, Tyke. How's it going? I I've gotten hold of something neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. See you later. Alright, well, let's head by Professor Elm's lab and see what he's got. Etho, fly us down there. Cha-cha, fly. Still need to go over to the Safari Zone. Get that on our map. Is this Cameron? I think it is, and I don't want to take a picture without Ramsey. Hey, it's Lyra. I haven't seen her in a long time. Tyke! Did you already collect eight badges? That's so cool! The professor is waiting for you! Hi, Tyke! <laughs> you never cease to amaze me! Thanks to you, my research is going great! Take this as a token of my appreciation! And we get a Master Ball! <laughs> the Master Ball is the best! It's the ultimate Pokeball! It'll catch any Pokemon without fail! It's given only to noted Pokemon researchers! I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Tyke! Because you're worthless! By the way, we just had a group of beautiful kimono girls looking for you. Whoa, where'd they head off to? Dance studio? We know where that's at. Tech, people are talking about you. I heard you helped kimono girls. You've been helping all these people. You make me proud to be your friend. Well, yeah, because we're awesome. The kimono girls are waiting for you at the Ecrutique Dance Theater. Okay, so yeah, you had to actually get all eight badges before you could deal with the kimono girls in Ecrutique. But we'll be doing that in the next episode. What happens if you talk to Lyra now? I wonder what a kimono girl wants from you. Uh, I know what I hope she wants from me. <laughs> really concerned about that Dratini. I'll look into that before the next episode, I guess. Because I really want that Dratini with the extreme speed. 
but let's actually call the episode with Polly Swag out, since we won't be seeing Polly Swag for a while. Well, I guess, I guess, kind of. We do need him for one more thing, but yeah, not right now. What do you think, Polly Swag? Your Pokemon stretched out its body and is relaxing. All right. So sorry for some of the lack commentary, the lax commentary in this episode, but uh, wasn't expecting to have to leave some of those in. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.